Hey guys, um, I'm just redoing the start of this tutorial. Uh, the tutorial will be on multiverse, the config, the permissions, and everything to do with that, the commands, just everything to do with multiverse. It only covers multiverse core. Um, it will not cover the portals, the sign portals, the inventories, or the other one, the nether portals. Um, so, this is just, I'm just redoing the start bit. I've done it in three parts, so the start bit will consist of me going through the installation for the plugin. Um, firstly, what you need to do to install the plugin is go to the link in the description. You want to make sure it's clicked on core there. And whatever, if you're, say, if, you, if it's on 2.4, I don't know because this video will be on forever. If, say, Minecraft's on 2.4 like it is now, do, do not click download because there is not a successful build yet for um, 2.4. Um, click on, down here, recent files, 2.4 and then click download. Uh, I've had a lot of people wondering why ain't it working, why aren't the commands working. That is the reason why. If you just click download here and then click download again it will do the one point it'll do the two point three version which was the last successful build. So that's just a development thing. Um, once you've done that you want to get it and drag it into your server plugins folder, sorry server, and it'll spawn a config folder in there. Um, so next time you'll see me, we'll be in Minecraft. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, we're back in Minecraft now. Um, and basically now I'm going to be running through commands and permissions you'll need to create a successful multiverse server. So the first command I'm going to show you is mv list. So to do this, you type slash mv and we'll list after it. This will list all the worlds which are loaded onto Multiverse. So we can see here we have one called World, which is Normal World, one called World Nether, which is the Nether World, and World at the End, which is the End World. Um, the permission for this command is multiverse.core.list.worlds. All the commands and permissions will be in the description. The next command I'm going to show you is mvhelp. Um, this shows you all the commands. Um, if you do slash mv help two, it'll take you to page two and it'll three and so on. There is five pages, so you can see all the commands there. Um, the command for that is multiverse.help. I don't see why you need to use a permission for that though, because it's not exactly doing anything bad. So let's type in slash help. Um, the next one is mv space info. This will show you, this will give you information on the world. So the world name, which is world, world alias, which is world. Uh, the game mode, which is survival, you can change this to creative for your server files. Um, difficulty, set to easy, spawn location, forever if you need to go to the spawn and you can't find it anywhere. Um, world scale, price to enter the world, you can set prices if you wish. Um, the next command is to actually create a world. Oh wait, before I go on actually, the command for the info is multiverse.core.info. So to create a world, you need to do slash mv space create space the name of the world, so I'm going to call this tutorial space environment, so you're looking at normal skylands, Nether, the end, any of those. Um, I'm just going to create a normal world. Um, and then a seed. So to do a seed, you need to sla type slash s space and then the seed. So I'm going to choose, I'm just going to type seed. And that'll be my seed. So it's going to create a world. It may lag a little bit, so it's ideal to do it when no one else is on the server to avoid disconnections. There we go, we see it's complete. Now we can teleport to this world. To teleport this, to this world, um, hold on, I'm missing out the permissions again. Multiverse.core.create, that is a permission to create a world. So to teleport to the world, we do slash mv tp space 
the character name, which is highlighted big, space, the world, and we called ours tutorial. There is two commands for teleporting. The first command is multiverse.teleport.self.name. This one will um, teleport. This is a permission to allow the player to teleport themselves. And then there's multiverse.teleport.other.name, which will teleport anyone else. Um, so that how to your admin manager is. Um, the next command I'm going to show you is mvwho. Right, this command shows you just mvwho by itself shows you who's on the server, on um, who's in each world um, on the server. And if you do slash mv space wait, MV who space tutorial, that'll show you who's on a certain world. So if you have many, 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 many players across worlds, it's easy to find out where they are. Um, the next one I'm going to show you is slash MV spawn. This will take you to the default spawn. But to create a spawn, you want to do slash, you want to do slash MV set spawn, and that will set the spawn wherever you want it. Um, the multiverse command for teleporting to the spawn is multiverse.core.spawn.self. That will teleport yourself. Uh, multiverse.core.spawn.other will teleport anyone else. The command for who is multiverse.core.list.who. And set a spawn is multiverse.core.spawn.set. Um, that's all I've got for commands. Oh, wait. I've got one more command actually. The last command is multiverse coordinates. So you want to do slash mv coord, and that will tell you what your coordinates are, what world you're in, what scale it is, what block you're on. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, in fact, I believe there is some more configuration to do. So we shall just go back to that very, very quickly. Let me make sure that there is. Yes, there is some more configuration. I had some pr trouble with downloading Multiverse. So we're going to go back to the configuration now. Um, so thanks for watching that part. So now we're back in our plugins folder. The Windows Explorer has stopped working again. Um, sorry about that. I have problems with it. Uh, we want to go in our plugins folder and we want to go straight to our config. I recommend downloading Notepad++, which you can find the download for in the description as well. Right, there is very little configuration to do on this, not much at all. Um, basically, you have the important ones, which are prefix chat. So that's like, um, if we go back onto the server, just like if we type something, it'll tell you what world you're in before. Um, I recommend putting that to false if you run another another plugin with it, which uh, changes the chat. Um, so at your essentials, I believe that changes the chat to whatever world you're in. Um, first spawn override. So if you create a world before before you got multiverse, um, and you want to say put how can I explain it? You want to put a new spawn in, so it's like we did MV set spawn. Um, if you that will override the old spawn, so it's just slash spawn. Um, do we want that as true? And the first spawn world. Well, that's wherever you spawn when you first get on the game. I've seen people put this as new and have that as a new world and do like a tutorial bit um, before they come become a proper member. So there's no briefing, but. That's completely up to you. Uh, and teleport cooldown. You can have a cooldown for the teleport if you want. But I don't recommend that. And that's all for the config, I believe. We'll just have one last check. Worlds. Oh, there we go. In the worlds folder, you'll find all the different um, server notes. So like you have, when you first create your server, you'll have one one document of server notes. This is giving you all the worlds on one server note. 
So basically, we're going to go to our tutorial world down here. See tutorial there. Right, so the seed is set. And the uh, environment is set to normal. We can change this, but it will delete whatever's on the world. Alias, uh, the color of the text that we're typing with. Um, say if we change that to red, it changes the text red and so on. Uh, PVP, so if we want to turn PVP off, we type in false. World scale, leave it to one. The world's big enough as they are. Um, respawn world, so if you want to respawn in that world once you've died, I recommend putting that in there. Put true in there, if not, leave it blank. Um, allow weather, so that's your rain, leave it as true. Um, easy difficulty, um, if you want to play more hard, then change it to whatever difficulty you want. Animal spawn. I, I have to get annoyed with animal spawning so I sometimes turn that off when I'm being creative and stuff. Monsters. Uh, true or false. Entry fee. This is if you have economy and you want to use um, economy to buy yourself into a world. Hunger. True or false. Auto heal. True or false. Just spawn. True or false. Um, and then we have game mode survival, we can create that. We can turn that into creative, or if, I believe you can, it does support hardcore now. Um, and the spawn points, you can manually set the spawn. And finally, bed respawn, which puts you, when you sleep in bed, it'll spawn you back there. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. It has been a lot of effort putting this in. I've got a massive page of notes with the missions and stuff. Um, You'll expect way more stuff like this from us soon. Um, so, thanks for watching.